the snow plow took a turn for the worst. I was I was helping a neighbor. Well, a neighbor that's about three miles down the road. Something happened with the four wheel drive on their little SUV, and uh, their SUV was parked in front of their tractor. So they couldn't move their SUV to get the tractor out and plow the driveway. Me and a friend up here up the road took our tractors over there and started plowing their driveway out for them. And uh, I caught a log, a log that it must be right on the edge of their driveway, kind of pointed out their driveway. And it's a pretty heavy log. I didn't see how long it was buried in the snow, but it was probably about eight, ten inches diameter. And by the time I saw it, I saw the bucket start to bend. I, you know, you slam the clutch in and pushing the brake. It's it's too late. Didn't take too much at all. This bucket isn't meant to have a lot of force put on it. It's just 55 gallon drums with some reinforcements top and bottom. But I'm hoping to salvage some of it off there. I've got another idea. After using this plow for a bit around here, I think a V plow would be better. And uh, the width of the bucket on this tractor is six feet. So if I make a V plow, if I can salvage two of these buckets, two bucket lengths, I'd have maybe a foot, foot and a half off that side, have the V right in the middle, about a foot and a half out here. I have two more bucket lengths on this side, make some more reinforcements, do a bit of work to it. I think a V plow would work a little better have the ends of the bucket open, have the whole thing sitting in front of the bucket of the tractor. I have to make better reinforcements to hold it out that far, but I think it'll, it'll clear the, the snow a lot better because the snow will just go off the sides and being a V, I'll be able to take care of some of these driveways around here without too much of a problem, especially if I have a foot off each side, that gives me eight feet worth of snow plow. And that's plenty wide for a, a car or a truck to go down in these driveways. So the good news is it's not supposed to snow, I think, for, what, three days, maybe? And that day it's supposed to be above freezing, so I'm not thinking we're going to get too much snow. And you, know, you never know around here. You might get a foot of snow that day. It's not unheard of. But after that, the weather looks like it's warming up. It's going to get up into close to the 40s, which is it's kind of nice. It's going to allow some of this snow to melt off. For now, what I'm going to do is cut this bucket loose and see if I can maybe I'll see if I can straighten that side up a little bit before I cut it loose to try and straighten out that upper reinforcement. I should probably try and straighten out as much as I can before I take the bolts out of it and set it on the ground. I have a feeling once I get the bolts out of it, it's not going to go back on. So maybe we'll straighten it out a little bit before we take it off. And I'm hoping to salvage two thirds of that for the next plow. We'll see. So we've got these barrels overlapped. So the actual seam I'm gonna cut on is right here where this weld is. And it's pretty straight. From here down, it's really straight. From here to here, it's got a little wave to it. But after we get it cut off, I think we can hammer that out a little bit easier. And the bottom's pretty straight from this point on down. So I think we can do away with this bad part over here that caught the stump. And, uh, Start working on making a new one.
So I've got my barrels cut. I've got my pieces of angle cut out of that box tubing. Same way I did it on the original build the last time. If you haven't seen that original build, I'll put a link to it up here in the top and in the description. The first time I made the barrels, I welded the barrels together, trying to keep them straight. And then I welded these, these reinforcement pieces on. This time around, I'm finding it easier as far as lining the barrels up and making sure they're straight to weld these pieces on the side before I weld the seams on the barrels. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this welded up and then we can mock up the two halves at an angle, maybe prop it up with some logs and get some cuts made to make that angle. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm getting a little cold, but not this quite a while. So I'll get you a closer look at it, show you what I've got going. To get to this point, I took this two sets of barrels and I propped the ends of them up on a log and I cut the V out, the angle, so I could weld them together. And I made sure and left a little bit in the middle there as an overlap. So I'd have, I wouldn't have a butt weld, I'd have an overlap of metal with two welds, make it a little bit stronger. So overall width of this V-plow, as it sits right now, is nine foot, 10 inches. Almost 10 foot, two, two inches short of 10 foot. I think that's a little bit too wide. I don't know. I'll wait till I get it all done and I'll bracket it up to this bucket and then I'll decide whether I wanna trim some off each side. I'm thinking a nine foot overall width is probably good my worry is that if it's hanging over the edge too much this overhang is pretty good right there if it's overhanging too much that's how it got wadded up on the last plow and i don't want that to happen again so the less that hangs off that side potentially the stronger the end is going to be Obviously, if you have something hanging off five foot and it catches, it's going to be pretty flimsy. You have it hanging over eight, ten inches, it's not quite so flimsy, less likely to get damaged by, a, say, a chunk of ice on the side of the road. This plow, as it sits right now, almost ten foot wide, would be very nice if it worked. Really nice for clearing driveways because I'd only have to go up them once. My neighbor's driveways, I have to go up and down with a couple times to get them wide enough so that you can comfortably drive a, a full-size truck up the driveway without hitting the, the edges. When you hit the edge, that bank of snow, it has a tendency to pull your tires into it. So if I had a 10-foot plow, I could go up a driveway, come back down and go to the next one, up the next driveway and come back down. It'd be a lot quicker, a lot easier, but I don't want it to get damaged. I'll be back out here tomorrow to figure out a way to bracket this v plow to my bucket i think i'm going to have to pay a lot of attention to the tip the nose of this v plow i'm worried that that's going to be weak or want to dig into the ground as i'm going so i'm going to want to support that real well maybe a couple cross pieces going across the bottom to make it strong i don't know yet i hope you've enjoyed this build so far and I will uh, hopefully have another video out on the brackets and have it all hooked up in the next couple days. Hang out, guys. Until next time, go make something.